Thanks, TJ. A local family avoids tragedy following a devastating fire. As they realize how bad the blaze could have been, they remain amazingly thankful for a supportive outpouring. Walt Buteau has today's street story. The fire started in this bedroom, and as you can see, the damage is extensive. But almost before the flames were out, this family knew they had good friends and good neighbors. It started with smoldering incense here on Cala Street in Providence. My house is on fire. I can't do this. That was March 21st. The floor is going to be a little damp. On this day, the owner takes us back inside. As you can see, completely destroyed. For a rare view at how much damage can be done, even if the flames are confined to one room. It was just very devastating. The most frightening thought involves avoided tragedy. No one was home when it started, but on many days, two infants would be napping in this room with thick smoke climbing the stairs. If the baby's in that crib and they're up here and the mm. house is filled with smoke, mm. how are they getting out? The only way out would have been if the window, and like I said, at the ladder outside, if I didn't discover it when I did, um, I would have lost just about everything. Tragic. It could have been tragic, yeah. I just couldn't believe it was our house on fire. And to actually see it is, you know, it broke my heart. Now all I could do was just cry. Everything is replaceable, but you can't replace, you know, I mean, life. We was all out safe, and like I said, I thank God. The support started the day of the fire, when the friends and family they helped over the years stepped forward for them. When, you know, you give kindness, you get it back in more ways than one. Insurance will hopefully rebuild the house, but replacing what made it a home would be nearly impossible without a fundraiser organized by the very same loved ones already helping them. It's so overwhelming getting all of the, the well wishes, the prayers, the support. We're getting people pouring in from everywhere, but it's a good feeling. It is a good feeling. As you can see, there's a lot of work left to do here. To find out more about how neighbors are helping and how you can help, log on to our website and we'll link you to that information. For The Roadshow, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.